Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's class will be ladder training part 3. So in this class of ladder training, we are going to cover few workouts in ladder and added to that today, a video related to badminton will be posted. So watch till the end. Coming to ladder training, it is also a part of agility and a part of movement training because we are covering both of them in the same ladder. You are doing fast and also doing in it for certain distance. While doing ladder training, try to be fast for all the exercises and that will be very effective. Now, let's get back to the training. The first workout will be alternate jumps. You may done this workout without ladder, but doing it in ladder will be a little challenging. You have to control your unnecessary movements while doing this workout, so that it will give you better results. But remember, you don't use the same leg to go front and back. While going, you should use the left leg and while coming, you should use the right leg. Then only you will feel the difficulty. The next workout will be in and out. This will be a fun workout. Your parents and people in village side and all used to play this as a game. Ask the name of the game and comment below. But the workout will be little modified. So you are going to jump in and outside the ladder and also while coming back you are doing the same. The difficult part will be when you come back. While going forward you can do fast but while coming back do slowly to avoid wrong movement. And try to make the jumps a little higher so that it will be easy for you to place your legs and move. The next workout will be sides leg back. This workout will be more easy and you even feel like dancing while doing this workout. In the previous classes of ladder training, you might have seen doing sides zigzag. If you haven't seen, check the video link in the description for better understanding. So similar to that workout, instead of bringing the leg front, you are going to bring through the back and come front like shown in the video. For better understanding, I have given in slow motion. You can now see how the legs move. Do this slowly till you get the rhythm and then start doing fast. And the last workout will be shadows front and back. So if you have started to play badminton like 2 months, by this time you would have known this workout. Even though I thought I could do some modifications so that you may get easily improved. Before starting this workout, mark 2 points with a distance of 5 long steps. Now while doing this, remember you are doing it in the court and start doing but when you touch the net and go back. You should only make 4 steps and do the jump smash and while coming front, you should come in 3 steps. And also, what I mean by jump smash is not going back, taking position and jump and hitting the smash. Instead, when you are one step before the back line itself, take the jump and smash it. Hope this will be useful to all. So that's all for today. See you all with different and interesting workouts in the next class. If you have any doubts or clarifications, comment below and I will make a list. Thank you.